Spartans and those in the community, I share your concerns. The charges announced today are not reflective of my values nor the university's culture. In fact, our department's core values, what coaches, staff, and student athletes are expected to embrace have been challenged. But those values continue to rise as our source of collective direction during these times. Respect, respect for yourself and respect for others. A positive attitude, continuous improvement, accountability, one focus while being part of a larger team, and integrity. My expectations are that everyone within the athletic department, every member of our staff, Every one of our 800 student athletes will strive to focus on these words and their meanings in their personal approach to work, pursuit of education, and their everyday life. My assessment of each of our 25 sports and the coaching staffs that lead them is focused on three general categories. Academic success, athletic success, and social behavior and engagement. With much improvement and success in these areas in football over the previous nine years, 2016 was a difficult year in all three. My expectations are that it will not continue. Coach D'Antonio and our assistant coaches are accountable to develop leaders on the field and in life. Student athletes also need to be held accountable to the principles of respect and kindness. We owe them that. There are countless positive stories to tell about Spartan football and our student athletes, but today we're not focused on those. We're focused on responding and getting better. This will happen with the support of others in our department and across our campus and community. As the Jones Day report stated and was released yesterday, Coach D'Antonio and our administrative staff took prompt and decisive action. Athletic department staff were cooperative throughout the investigations, and it was imperative that we, as an athletic department, did not interfere, intervene, or influence those investigations. Patience was a necessary part of that process for all of us. The football program receives extensive education and training. It is frequent and ongoing. This training is direct and aimed at real-life scenarios, including leadership, respect for others, prevention of sexual assault and domestic violence, and includes consistent messages from a variety of programs and speakers. We will continue to educate, continue to search for new and relevant messages that will make a difference for our football team, athletic department, and all of campus. This is my home. It's where my wife and I attended school, where one son and my daughter earned their degree, where my other son will enroll this fall. I expect my home to be safe, safe to all that live here and safe to all that visit. Like any home, its safety requires shared responsibility and accountability. As athletic director, I am responsible to make tomorrow better than today. I've assigned Jennifer Smith, Alan Haller, and Elliot Daniels to oversight roles in areas within our football program. It does not diminish the coaching staff's accountability nor my expectations of them for the recruitment and leadership of our student athletes. Rather, it is to ensure that we have programmatic systems in place that are efficient, and effective. I continue to listen and engage with student athletes, students, faculty and staff, campus and community leaders on issues, including frank conversations about today's topic. I offer my deepest compassion to the young woman and her family. Sexual assault has no place on our campus, on any college campus. In fact, there is no culture where it's acceptable for one person to abuse another. 
Systems are in place here at Michigan State. But like any place else, they have to continue to improve. Improve in order to prevent and to respond. Improve in order to keep pace with today's society. Voices must be heard. Bystanders must react. Care and compassion provided to survivors. And we all, everyone, men and women, the entire community must do their part to stop the behaviors of abuse. I promise you that I will do my part. In the end, a person simply has to care enough about another person.